So in the previous videos, we discussed how to log in and how to search for different articles. Now we're going to take a little bit of a deeper dive into what the articles look like. So we decided that we are going to look into gender. And since I'm on this homepage, I'm going to scroll down. We already talked about how the information is organized and everything, but I'm going to click on a title that stands out to me. So I'm going to click right here where it says gender equality. All of the articles and content will be organized much in the same way. We'll have the publication date, um, the publisher, the document type, and over here you can translate it to many different languages. Uh, we could decrease or increase the font size based on what works for you. You can even listen to it. So if you have headphones or if you're at home and you can play it out loud, um, you can go ahead and have it read to you. Right here, you can have it downloaded to your Google Drive, your OneDrive. You can email it to your teacher or to classmates that maybe could find this article beneficial as well. You could download it straight to your computer or you could print it. Um, up here, you can cite it. And in another video, I'm going to show you how you can export this citation directly to Noodle Tools. Um, you have another link to send it via Google Drive, um, OneDrive, or email. Download it, print it, get the link in case you wanted to share it on a discussion board. Um, and highlighted notes I'm going get to in, get into in just a second. So as I'm scrolling down, let's say I'm really interested in this paragraph, or you could highlight just a sentence if you want. It's up to you. Once I click on the, um, an area to highlight, this little box will pop up. And I can choose to highlight it in any color I want. And this is useful if you decide that you want to color code your annotations. So for example, you could do maybe all stuff that you want to include in your research as like concrete details in purple. Um, or you could choose people's commentary and uh, highlight that in pink. That's up to you. And then you can add a little note. So I would just, I'm just going to put add note here. And then I'm going to click save. Make sure you click save. That's really, really important. So let's say I do another thing here. I'm going to do this one in yellow and I'm going to add a different note here. Just to show you what the annotations will look like. So if I scroll back up to the top and I click right here where it says highlights and notes, I can see the text that I highlighted and the notes that I added for each section. On this little inlet, I could click on this little button where it says view all highlights and notes and it'll take me to this page. I can choose to format it in MLA 8 or in APA if perhaps I'm doing this for science class. And I have all of that information right there. I could also edit the notes that I've added. So if I wanted to add more details or to change what I said, um, I could do that here. Another really important thing to note is this warning right here. Um, if I don't download or email myself my highlights and notes, the next time I log in, those will all be gone. Since we all have the same password, it doesn't save individual sessions for us. So anything that we do, um, we need to save it to our OneDrive, our Google Drive, or email it to ourselves, right? Okay, so let's say my highlights and, no and notes look good. I wanna download it. I'm going to click right here where it says download and it will give me a PDF. So as you can see, the text is right here and here would be the notes that I've added. However, if I'd rather send it to myself, I can send it to my Google Drive, my OneDrive, or my email. 